thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me. Today's video, we have a skincare box showdown. Both boxes are new to my channel. We have the Face Tori Spring Luxe Box, and then we have the Tony Moly June Bundle. I get both Face Tori subscriptions. They have a monthly subscription where you get seven sheet masks and a bonus full size item. That subscription is $20 a month, or you could get the quarterly box, which is $50 a month. I'm also an affiliate with Face Tori. If you use my code or order through my link, I do make a small commission. And the Tony Moly Bundle for June is $47. I really enjoy unboxing two different boxes and seeing what you get in both box and seeing which box was a better value. These two boxes are closely related. There's a $3 difference and both are K-Beauty products. I'll link my Battle of the Boxes playlist to watch previous unboxings and if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get unboxing. The Tony Moly bundle is a lot newer to me. This is my first time actually buying one and they were donating some proceeds to Black Lives Matter. So that was one of the many ways for me to help donate. Face Tori I've actually had for a little bit now. I get their boxes really, really late and my May monthly subscription went MIA. They're shipping me out a new one so I wasn't able to do an unboxing of the May skincare bundle and then the spring box and I figured this is a really good opportunity to show off both boxes. This is what the inside of Tony Moly looks like. That's much better. Where to begin? So the first product right here, this is the Vital Vita 12 Jelly Cleanser. One drop for glow skin. Okay. The skincare line containing 12 kinds of vitamins gives the skin radiance. It reminds me of the Ole Henriksen orange line packaging. I haven't really found a jelly cleanser that I liked. I think I'm still a little bit scarred from drunk elephants because of how dry that made my skin. Oh my gosh, worst cleanser ever. Tony Moly, don't let me down. I actually discovered Tony Moly through my aunt. There was a store in San Francisco and she got me a bunch of items for like my birthday or Christmas and I really enjoyed a lot of the items. Some of them have been too cute to use, not gonna lie, they're displayed in my bathroom. I have really cute Octopi and Whales. One of Tony Moly's products I'm currently using right now, go figure, in a sleep mask and it's their lavender one. I really, really like it. They had a mask bundle on their website. I almost bought it, I'm like, no, you're just here to buy the monthly bundle but I might go back because they had some new items that sound very intriguing but I know I have a lot of skincare I need to use up my skincare so I just resisted I kind of want to just dispense a little bit just to get an idea of the formula oh it is jelly <laughs> <laughs> See, it kind of like wiggles right there, like flubber. Oh wow, it's so slimy. That is so weird. It's slathering up really nice. And this is without water. The Drunk Elephant one didn't really lather on my face. And after I rinsed off my face and patted it dry, I felt like every drop of moisture was stripped from my face. It actually has like a little bit of a cooling effect going on. And my hand doesn't feel stripped away of its moisture. And it has a very faint scent of orange to it. So this is something I would probably would store in a skincare fridge because vitamin C does degrade a little bit more rapid than some other ingredients. That way I can preserve that vitamin C ingredients, be able to get like the full effect of vitamin C as well. Cause if it degrades, I'm not gonna be seeing that brightening effect. And I wonder how it compares to the old Henriksen one. I don't really use many brightening cleansers but brightening creams like for your face or your under eyes those are like musts for me because I do have a little bit of dull skin I do have some redness so I find brightening creams to really help so it looks like we also have a mango boosting pack from the same line is this a cream oh it's like aloe <laughs> interesting does smell like mangoes I'm just gonna scoop a little bit okay oh that's cool put some on the oh it's cool as well I like how these products feel I like that cooling effect Make sure it's on nice and tight. It feels like I'm rubbing in aloe on my hand. I think I scooped out a little too much. So a little bit goes a long way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dry, 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 dry. I like how both of these products feel. I am really curious to see how it incorporates into my skincare routine. I did put way too much down. Let me just bring it up to like the wrist area, but it is hydrated and it is smooth. Oh my gosh, it feels so good, so good. Reminds me of like Belief Aqua Bomb Tatcha Water Cream Moisturized Feeling Good right here, but with a hint of brightening. Does this hand look brighter than this hand? Questions that need answers. And to go along, we got some Mango Mild Skin Block SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. Oh my gosh, their sunscreens are so cute. I had the banana one, but like, look how cute this little guy is. I love it. Oh, it's a twist, not a pull. My bad. Nice little squeezy tube. 
Oh, I love that. Nice and precise dispense. I was afraid that was just gonna go everywhere. And it smells like mango, which is nice. I really don't like the sunscreen smell because even after I do my main skincare routine, I will go over with sunscreen for that extra SPF. So it'll be nice to have a sunscreen that is SPF 50, which is awesome. Or that sunscreen scent. Oh, I've been wanting to try this. This is the Peach Punch Cleansing Water. No wash type. So this is essentially their micellar water. I'm a sucker for micellar water. I am just obsessed trying all brands' micellar waters to the point of spending $45 on some micellar water. It's a little bit extreme, but they have a big bottle of this at Ulta that I've seen. I think it is a little bit more expensive than my Garnier micellar water, and I just bought some NYX micellar water, so I just really haven't had the need to buy some more, even though I saw it, and I was like, ooh, that is cute. I want to try it. It's nice to get like the small bottle of it. It will definitely get some use. It's a mild cleansing water containing pure peach extract to gently remove makeup. I'm definitely curious to see how it rivals my beloved Garnier. The next one hasn't been bad. I think I like it more than the Pixie Vitamin C one, but I think I still love my Rodile Dragon Blood. That's the bougie micellar water. <gasps> Look at this little panda. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. That was the first items that my aunt got me was some of the panda items because she calls me Amanda Panda. I know that should have been my YouTube name, right? Oh, it's like a little lip balm. That is really adorable. I don't know if I'll actually use the lip balm, but as a keychain, hell yeah. I'll forget that it's a lip balm. That's the only reason why I wouldn't use it. We have the Floria Brightening Peeling Gel. Not gonna lie, I really haven't used peeling gels before. I've been really wanting to try, what is it called? Bliss. I had to look off to the side at Iron Man and go, what was that brand? It says, the Hydro Brightening Care makes skin look clear and bright with rich lotus flower ferment water. I feel like this is supposed to substitute exfoliating and it's like a more gentle way. I don't know, you hear the word peel and it kind of freaks me out. I'm just like, are we gonna be peeling my skin away? I don't wanna be looking like Red Skull from the Avengers. That is not a cute look. That is not what I'm going for. Quite the opposite, actually. Thank you, Kinship, for doing that to me, though. I'm just gonna take a little bit right there. Gently massage into the face and rinse off with lukewarm water. Oh, that is cool. Look at those little globs of dead skin. Why haven't I tried a peel like this before? I am so amused of these dead skins. It's very gross. I'm a little low-key disgusted with myself because this is from my hand. Imagine your face. That is so gross, but it's so cool. Oh, there's something very satisfying about this. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. Let's feel. It's like a baby smooth butt right here, but it's my hand. Oh yeah, there's a huge texture difference. You know, I feel like that did probably a better job than actual exfoliating. Are these gentle enough to exfoliate like every other day? My face is not made to exfoliate every single day. She is too sensitive for that. The last item looks like we got some hand sanitizer with some aloe in it, which is nice because hand sanitizer, very, very drying on the hands. And so my hands have been very chapped thanks to it. <laughs> and hand cream is not doing enough. But wait, there's more. Like Face Story, spoiler alert, we have some sheet masks. And I really enjoy Tony Moly's sheet masks. They are definitely very, very cute. This one, I'm watermelon, yes. And it's hydrating, oh my gosh. I love watermelon skincare. If you guys know, watermelon sleep mask, that is my jam right there. So I'm very excited for this. And then we have the I'm Lemon Layering Mask. Don't know if I've done a layering mask before, but we are about to find out. I definitely will post like a review on Instagram and I'll definitely keep it in my empties and to let you guys know how the mask worked out for me. They have two daily fresh squeezes. For this being my first Tony Moly bundle, this is awesome. I definitely see myself using all these. Favorite product, hands down, I think it's this. I really was amused by the peel of the dead skins and I'm loving this moisturizer and I love that it came with that nice little spatula. I just grabbed too much and I'm even more excited now to unbox the Face Tory products. Ta-da! Face story. Ooh, what are these? ADD. I'm excited for this. What? <laughs> I'm out here looking like a damn fool. Oh, I got a fuzz. It kind of cute. We'll leave it. We have a nice little pamphlet of all of our products. This is the Essence Herb Tea Tree Cleansing Water. I really love tea tree products. I know Miss Jackie Naturals does not because she's allergic, which is unfortunate because it really helps with acne. It also helps remove oily residue and she an oily girl. But this retails for $25. Key ingredients, tea tree, 
which this ingredient is best known for anti-inflammatory properties. It helps calm skin irritations, reduce redness, which is what I like about it because I get a lot of redness, and promotes a clear complexion. Asiatica extract is a gentle yet powerful ingredient that calms, heals, and balances the skin. It's also antioxidant rich and helps reduce sun damage. Directions. Pour cleansing water onto a cotton pad and swipe it across the face to remove makeup, oil, and other impurities. Can be used in AM and PM. Oh, but you rinse it off with lukewarm water. That's something I don't do with micellar waters. Next, oh, I've used these too. Oh, I love these. These are the Wang Jisu Mugwort's Rescue Soothing Pads. You get 60 pads and it retails for $25. Sometimes on their Friday Faves sale, they have like a 10 pack of pads and they're like on sale for $4 amazing I buy them every single time I go through them so quick so to get a full size I know I'm gonna use these after cleansing gently wipe the soothing pads across the face proceed with the rest of your skincare routine good to know that I'm using these the correct way these two products right here pay for the box and you can look at everything else for free does it tell me how much my ears retail for yeah $7.98 why we love it using this whenever we do our skincare routine or when we're using a sheet mask it helps our baby hairs away from our face less mess less fuss and it's super cute I didn't go as close to my baby hairs because I do have makeup on didn't want to get some foundation on it so next time I'm masking for sure oh it's another vitamin C product this is by Neogen Dermalogy this is the real Vita C serum and it retails for $38 key ingredients Sodium ascorbyl phosphate is a stable form of vitamin C. This ingredient brightens the skin and fades dark spots while protecting skin from damage. Ace Rolloplex is a complex that contains various fruits and veggies rich in vitamin C that all work together to brighten and hydrate the skin for a healthy complexion. Apply two to three drops of the serum after cleansing and toning skin, morning and night. In the morning, use underneath sunscreen before sun exposure for extra protection. We recommend storing serum away from direct sunlight. Vitamin C temperature is very sensitive very true my bathroom has a huge window in it so I definitely store all my vitamin C products in a cabinet or a drawer I need to get a skincare fridge a skincare fridge is something that I really do want to put in there as well just gonna try a couple drops just to get a feel do two drops oh it's a very watery serum it's going all over my hand but it soaks right in oh that feels nice has like that little orange scent as well. I'm really excited for all this brightening products. As much as I talk about needing brightening products, brightening is something that I really kind of lack in my skincare routine. I really focus on hydrating, anti-aging, and helping reduce acne and texture. So I'm really like geeking out and excited for these vitamin C products. Next by Alicia Koi, this is the Sun Tzu Cream Mist, and it retails for $27. The key ingredients are milk protein extract. This ingredient prevents skin dryness. Oh, I need that. Oh, it's like a new. It contains a lot of nutrients and is skin smoothing and moisturizing. 12 amino acid complex. This complex contains 12 amino acids that help straighten the skin barrier. Some being glycerin, serine, lysine, arginine, tyrosine, violine, etc. Spray on the face after cleansing or whenever hydration is needed. You know what? I could use a little bit of hydration right now. This reminds me of Laneige. They have a very similar looking product to it. I wonder if it functions the same. Ooh, and it's not a bad spray radius as well, but I feel like a lot of product is dispensed, but it feels really, really nice. My face does feel really refreshed right now. Some sprays, like you can still see like the droplets on your face or it looks like you sprayed yourself with the hose. This, you can't really tell that I just refreshed my face, but I hope I can still get a lot of use out of it despite of how much I did have to spray right there. The last part is by Face Tori. This is the Me, Myself, and I Refreshing Eye Cream and it retails for $16. I'm not gonna open this one. I bought a bundle, one of the Friday faves that Face Tori had and I got this product in it. I really do enjoy this. It's not as thick of an eye cream like my typical one, which is the Banana Sea Eye Cream by Ole Henriksen. This eye cream hydrates really, really nice. And I think I'm also noticing a little bit of brightening under it. And I've been using it for about two weeks now in place of Ole Henriksen. So if it's still staying bright and I didn't have to switch to it, I think it's doing a really good job. The key ingredients in this, Oriza Sativa Brand Water. This ingredient is a gentle brightening, haha, ingredient that also softens and moisturizes the skin. Both are two things I am noticing 
using that eye cream. Galactomyces ferment filtrate. This ingredient helps brighten skin and reduce the appearance of pores and blackheads. It also contains antioxidants and vitamins to benefit the skin's moisture barrier. This eye cream is super affordable and you get 1.01 fluid ounces. It's gonna last you a while and I can't beat the price of it, especially with how much I am loving it. So I'm really excited to be able to share that with you guys. And it also has its set of sheet masks as well. And we get five sheet masks and Tony Moly, you got four. The first sheet mask is by Face Tori. This is the Art Mesia Refreshing Relief Facial Sheet Mask. It retails for $3. This mask has Art Mesia Vulgaris Extract, which is a healing and repairing skincare ingredient that calms redness and irritation. I need that. I get both of those. It also contains vitamin A and C, amazing antioxidants that help brighten and reverse skin damage. It also contains Ajatika Extract, which is a gentle yet powerful ingredient that calms, heals, and balances the skin. It's also antioxidant rich and helps reduce sun damage. This one is by Logically Skin. This is the Aquatide Soothing and Lifting Mask. This is a relaxing fiber mask that delivers a revitalizing essence to wake up tired, dull skin. Oh my gosh, I need that. I got some dullness going on. And this retails for $5. Probably gonna butcher this name, but it's by Jejuen. This mask is, this is my sheet green tea calming mask. This retails for $4. Relax with this calming and hydrating sheet mask that is infused with green tea extract. I really need more products in my life with green tea extract in it. And then we have by Coast Cody. This is the Hydra Soothe Cellulose Mask. And this retails for $3. Give your skin the treatment of deep hydration. Oh, I've been needing that so much lately. Usually I'm very oily in the summertime, not the summer. This mask hydrates the skin, helping maintain the health of your skin barrier. And then the last mask is by Sir Medic Plus. We've seen them a couple times in Ipsy. This is the Bright Glutathione Mask. This is a brightening mask that improves dryness, fine lines, and wrinkles. It transforms the skin and provides an overall dewy glow and it retails for $3.80. It is very hard to say which box I think I would prefer over the other. I think because I have tried two of the Face Tory products, I might have to give it to Tony Moly because I am very impressed with the bundle, the price point, and how similar it was to the Face Tory one. And the fact that they do it monthly, I think that's awesome. I think it can get very pricey really quick. I think you get a nice wide variety of products in both boxes. There's a little bit of overlap here and there with some of the products, but I feel like you have almost a whole routine right here. It does not take anything away from Face Story. I think it's an amazing box. I got this cool little headband going on and I'm already a fan of two of the products. I would love to know in the comments below, which box do you think won and which one would you be more inclined on buying? Like I said, it's a toss up. I'm very curious to see what the July Tony Moly bundle has in store for us. The next Face Story one will be the summer one. Like I said, I get them really late. So it'll probably be towards like the end of summer, right going into fall, but maybe I'll buy my next Tony Moly bundle then and do a battle of the boxes between them if that's something you guys are interested in seeing. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one and hopefully I'll be able to do the Face Tory monthly unboxing whenever it arrives. The next one I'll probably do or attempt to do is June's. I would love to know what was your favorite product from both the Tony Moly bundle and the Face Tory bundle. I think from the Tony Moly bundle, this is my favorite. It's really a toss up from the Face Tory ones. It'd probably be either this cleansing water or the spritz. I really liked how this felt on the skin. Hopefully it could be a dupe for Laneige because the Laneige one is double the price of that one. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.